The plot follows Das Ten, Jake Gyllenhaal, a street urchin in Persia in the 6th century, historically in the Persian Empire. He gets adopted by the king after demonstrating bravery in the marketplace. Fifteen years later, Das Tan and his royal-blooded foster brothers Garsev and Tus lead the Persian army in an attack on the sacred city of Alamut, believing that the residents of the city are selling weapons to their enemies, as demonstrated by Nizam, Ben Kingsley, the king's brother and advisor. Das Tan decides to conduct a surprise attack with his companion Bis, Rhys Ritchie, despite his brother's orders as Garsev leads the initial assault. He is able to open Alamut's eastern gate, preventing further casualties. Dostan beats one of Princess Tamina's, Gemma Arterton, guards who is in possession of the mythical Dagger of Time during the battle in the city. The dagger allows its possessor to travel back in time for a limited period of time in order to fix any mistakes or redo any moment. Alamut is seized by the Persians, and Tamina is offered as a wife for Tus, bringing the city of Alamut into the Persian Empire. The Persians rejoice over their triumph, but Prince Dostan is duped into presenting a poisoned robe allegedly handed to him by Tus to King Sharaman, Ronald Pickup, which fatally burns the king. Prince Dostan is suspected of being the murderer of his father. He and Princess Tamina flee the castle, but Bis, his best friend, is slain while attempting to save them. They set off on a voyage together, the prince wants to prove his innocence, while Tamina seeks to protect the Dagger of Time. Tamina attempts to assassinate the prince and recover the dagger on the first night, but Das Ten accidentally activates the dagger and discovers its ability to reverse time for one minute, preventing Tamina from attacking. Das Ten believes Tus was aware of the dagger and blamed Das Ten for their father's murder in order to steal the throne and the dagger, becoming the most powerful monarch in Persia. During their voyage, the duo encounters a group of merchant bandits in the Valley of Slaves, including entrepreneur and ostrich racing organizer Sheik Amar, Alfred Molina, and his friend Ciso, Steve Toussaint, from the Angbaka, Masters of the Throwing Knives. In exchange for their hospitality, Dostan offers Tamina as a slave. The robbers, however, attempt to grab the Dagger of Time and deliver Dostan to the newly crowned Tus as a prize for his capture, but fail and the two escape. Dostan and Tamina travel to Persia to attend King Sheriman's funeral. Dostan tries to persuade his uncle Nizam that he was not the cause of his father's murder, only to learn that Tamina stole the dagger. Instead, he finds the burns on Nizam's hands, indicating that he was the one who planned the king's assassination. Furthermore, Nizam has set up an ambush for Dostan along the Persian streets, and Dostan escapes after a fight with his brother Garsev. Meanwhile, back in Persia, Nizam tries to persuade the newly crowned King Tus and Garsev that Dostan is plotting to overthrow them and must be executed without a trial to avoid a mutiny. When this fails, Nizam employs the Hassan Sins, a group of highly competent soldiers who formerly worked as hired killers for Persian aristocracy. After Sharaman had them disbanded, Nizam had kept the cult concealed for his own purposes. Dostan gets up with Tamina and reveals that the evil king's brother, Nizam, was behind it all. The Alamut invasion was based on false claims made by Nizam and propagated with the goal of obtaining the Dagger of Time and using it with the huge sandglass concealed beneath the city of Alamut. This way, Nizam could go back in time before saving Sharaman from a lion's attack and undo the act, ensuring his succession as king of Persia. Tamina, on the other hand, discloses that the sandglass is the vessel that houses the sands of time, which the gods conjured to punish humanity for its misdeeds. A pure-hearted girl offered her life to persuade them to seal the sands, if the dagger of time was used to pierce the sandglass, the sands would be released, destroying the entire world. The holder of the dagger can also travel back in time as far as they like. The two then put their disagreements aside and resolve to work together to protect the dagger. 
Because of the commotion they generated in the valley, Sheikh Amar, Siso, and their group kidnapped Dostan and Tamina once more. Sheikh plans to use the prize for turning them in to restart his business. However, while everyone is sleeping that night, the Hassan Sin chief, Sly R. N. Gerarsen, attacks the group in an oasis by commanding a lot of vipers. Many of the gang are killed, but Dostan uses the dagger to rewind time and, anticipating the onslaught, kills all of the snakes by himself, saving Siso in the process. The Hassan Sin chief then rides away in a sand dervish. The next day, the couple, now joined by Sheik and Siso, journey to the secret sanctuary in the highlands near India, where the dagger can be sealed by returning it to the stone from which it came. Tamina would have to sacrifice herself to do this, but she is stopped by Garsev's troops. Das Tan, on the other hand, convinces his brother that he is innocent, only for Garsev to be slain by a Hassansan's flurry of spike knives. The Hassanan assault, killing several of the gang, while their leader uses a trained snake to steal the dagger of time from Tamina, who was knocked unconscious during the battle. Das Tan, on the other hand, is spared from the final Hassan Sin by Garsev, who eventually succumbs to his injuries. Tamina and Das Tan, together with Sheikh Amar and Siso, return to Alamut to inform Tus about Nizam and the dagger. They must first obtain the dagger, which is stored in the sacred temple and guarded by the Hassan Sin who murdered Garsev. To retrieve the dagger, Siso, the expert of throwing knives, battles the spike-wielding Hassan Sin. He kills Hassan Sin with a well-aimed throw, but is fatally injured in the process. Before dying, Siso managed to hurl the dagger out the window to Sheikh and Dostan. Sheikh Amar then distracts the guards by acting as a decoy, while Dostan reveals the truth about the dagger to his brother Tus by murdering himself, only for Tus to rewind time using the dagger. Tus is then killed by Nizam, and Dostan is rendered unconscious by another Hassassin. Nizam regains control of the dagger, but Dostan defeats the Hassassin with Tamina's assistance. She realizes that the Hassan Sin was a spy inside Alamut and that he must have alerted Nizam about the dagger. Dostan and Tamina hurry to stop Nizam as he enters the sandglass caves beneath Alamut. Tamina unlocks a secret gate going to the chamber, allowing them to bypass the sandglass. On the way, they come across the Hassan Sin leader, however, after a tight fight, Dostan gains the upper hand and stabs the Hassan Sin before throwing him into the chasm. Dostan and Tamina then exchange kisses. They eventually approach Nizam as he uses the dagger to pierce the sandglass. Nizam knocks Tamina over the brink of the chasm during the final confrontation, and Dostan hurriedly catches her hand. Tamina expresses her love for Dostan and lets go, sacrificing herself to prevent Nizam from killing her. Dostan fights Nizam while both of them grip the dagger. Dostan then activates the dagger's button, allowing him to access the Sands of Time container and wield its power against Nizam. The sand glass gradually fractures, and the sandstorm destroys Alamut. Dostan is then able to use the dagger to rewind time as the sand glass cracks, returning to the point when he first held the dagger during the siege of Alamut. Dostan utilizes his expertise to reveal Nizam's terrible intentions to his brothers, garnering their approval by telling what Tus informed him about their father's meeting prior to the attack. Exposed, Nizam attempts to murder Dostan but is killed by Tus' blade. Tus offers that Tamina become Dastan's wife as a gesture of goodwill after apologizing for the ransacking of her city. The prince gives her the dagger of time as a present, and she looks at him shocked. The two are then shown conversing, with Tamina expressing her surprise at Dastan's abrupt change in behavior and implying that he may have learned something, to which he responds that they determine their own fate. <laughs>